Hey guys, this week I want to talk to you about teledentistry. Teledentistry is something you may not know, but I think you can benefit it from it greatly. If you're watching this, it's probably because you're online, you're looking for cosmetic dentist cost. What does a cosmetic dentist cost? It's a big question, but I want to show you how to control that cost. Here's some tips that may help you. Teledentistry is a big thing. Do not go to a dentist that charges you for a consultation. It's because he doesn't believe you're going to come in or you're not going to pay for the treatment plan. So they want to charge anywhere from $150 to $300 for the hour that it takes for them to look at your smile and see if they can improve it. And that's about 300 wasted dollars. They're afraid that 96% of the people who sit in their chair for a treatment will never sit in the chair to get the work done. And so they want to charge you up front for their time, and I get it. But Teledentistry changes that. You literally can take a picture of your smile, take two pictures, one up close, one sideways, or three or four, send them to that dentist office, tell them what you're thinking about having done. Dental veneers, bonding, contouring, braces, you may want aligners, anything that would actually improve the shape of your smile. If you do that, that dentist has a duty to look at that real quick and make a case assessment and to see what it is he thinks. I know there's sensitive cases, there's extreme cases, but the very vast majority of you listening to me right now have a case that's not extreme or too sensitive. You should be able to send some pictures to, to not just one dentist, but to five cosmetic dentists, six cosmetic dentists. You should be able to get an assessment just off your pictures. If you can't do that, then it's a flag. Dentists work on two things, case consult and treatment planning. The treatment planning gives you a whole list of everything that's possible, and it's a la carte. So they're hoping that you'll take a little bitty pieces, put it together, and pay as you go, or the whole thing. Most people will try to stick within a budget, and generally the treatment plan exceeds that budget. You don't need a full treatment plan to know exactly what you're looking for and how to get the cost down to what you're looking for. What I'm trying to tell you is, tell dentistry is changing dentistry. If a dentist won't give you a ballpark number, then you probably shouldn't be going to them. That's my opinion. You probably shouldn't be going to them. If you're looking to spend $20,000 plus on a new smile makeover, then by all means, go sit in a dental chair, get to know your dentist. But if you're trying to spend under $15,000, do not go to a cosmetic dentist unless he gives you an assessment over the phone of a ballpark number. And you want a high number. You want to tell him what your high number is. Remember, the most you can communicate before you see the dentist is your biggest advantage point. Once you're there, everything changes. Always set the prices before they tell you their prices. Tell dentistry is a game changer. And guys, I think you're going to find out that when they know that you're shopping competitively online, you're going to get a lot better than a treatment plan and a case consult that's more than you can afford. I think it's the best way that I know how to tell anyone how to save money. Tell Dentistry is designed to save you money. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, do not forget to ask questions. And let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next week.